What's up everyone? John Rettinger from Techno Buffalo here with an unboxing of the Droid Charge. This is the newest 4G phone for Verizon Wireless. Let's go ahead and dig in. I kept trying to think of any charge jokes, but I just couldn't come up with any. So insert your own charge joke here, put them down below. Let's go ahead and unbox this guy. So presumably we are going to see a release very soon on the next few days, at least in the month of May. Let's go ahead and pull off of the paper. You've got that robot looking droid eye. Rip this off here. Nothing very exciting on the box. Well, I will say it's gonna take a fit of skill to get the lid off. There we go. And here is your charge. This is a device that we first saw at CES. Uh, it didn't have a name, then it was rumored to be called the Stealth. We even got some hands-on time with the device when it was pre-release. Uh, it was actually one of my favorite phones from CES 2011. Um, so I'm really looking forward to getting in there and seeing what we've got. So we've got some Samsung Media Hub credit. Um, I will actually put this out there. The first one to claim it can have it. There you go. Okay. So, Droid Charge, got some reading material. I don't know who people are gonna read that, but you've got it. Your sort of now standard accessory is there's a wall charger. So we've got a micro USB to USB cable, we do. And don't have any sort of headphones in there. Uh, okay, great. Let's go ahead and take a look at the phone. And because I know my audience, I'm just gonna leave the plastic on here while I film. You guys won't mind, right? <laughs> Um, just kidding. All right, so we'll slide it out of its plastic baggie, and we will rip this off, see if we get the whooshing noise. No whooshing noise, but I'll do that to the camera so you can hear uh, some sort of whooshing noise. We'll zoom in a little bit, and let's run through the specs. First, let's see if there's a battery in there. Uh, it feels like there is, so I will power it on while I'm talking, assuming I can find the power button, which looks to live on the right-hand side of the device. See if we have enough of a charge. At least you can watch something while I'm talking. All right, so this is the droid charge. Oh, there's my joke, he came charged. Get it? <laughs> okay, <laughs> so it's got a 4.3 inch diagonal Super AMOLED Plus display. Wow, that's loud. You're not gonna wanna turn this on when you're in class or in a meeting. Um, it's a Super AMOLED Plus display. If you've seen the beautiful Super AMOLED screens on the Galaxy S series of devices, this takes that beautiful screen and takes it a step further. Uh, you may have noticed that the Galaxy S or any phone with a Super AMOLED screen had a little bit of a bluish tint to it. I talked about it in some of my videos. It wasn't anything that really Im impeded you, but it's something that we're definitely cognizant of uh, when you were using the phone. This takes care of that. So you are gonna get really, really bright colors. You're going to get some rich images. Go ahead and unlock that. Um, color, dark colors are gonna look bright, blacks are gonna look black, you're gonna have great visibility and direct sunlight. This is a gorgeous screen. I remember coming away from CES really, really impressed with it. So Super AMOLED display, resolution of 480 by 800. So it's a very, very, very uh, high res screen on the phone. Uh, as you can see, it is running Android 2.2, or as you can see, at least it's got TouchWiz. Uh, no gingerbread here, but being a new phone, presumably it will get its taste of Tasty, tasty gingerbread. If we check out the rear of this guy, and there's another sticker. I'll go ahead and remove this before I start talking. Let's go back and see where that is. There we go. Boom, removed. It's because I read the comments, and you guys hate stickers with a passion. Um, so we've got an eight megapixel camera on the back with an LED flash, and it does have autofocus business in it, which is kind of cool. Uh, that will shoot video at 1280 by 720, which is 720p. We've got a front-facing camera right there for all of your video chatting needs. That's 1.3 megapixel. Uh, one of the nice things about this phone is it's 1600 milliamp hour battery uh, that lives right under here. This is an LTE 4G phone, and LTE sucks in battery life, unfortunately. Uh, the way that LTE is done right now is there are two separate radios, a 4G radio and a 3G radio, uh, and that can definitely be a drain on battery. However, Samsung is claiming that you're gonna get 11 hours of talk time and 280 hours of standby time, so that's pretty nice. Uh, it's being powered by a now tried and true one gigahertz Samsung processor. Uh, there is no dual core action here, unfortunately. 
Um, but on the upside, it does have mobile hotspot capabilities for sharing all of that hot 4G action, which you can see I have right there, 4G. That is one extra G than most folks might be used to. Uh, and you can share that mobile hotspot for up to eight devices. So awesome there. Uh, it is very thin uh, and surprisingly light device. So let's take a quick tour of it. So there's that front facing 1.3 megapixel camera. We've got the Verizon logo and we've got some physical buttons, nothing capacitive here. The typical Android. I really like the physical buttons actually. Uh, so we've got your menu button, home button, your back button and your search button on the left volume rocka up and down there's your charging port micro usb that's now become standard really nice if that's where we're charging and syncing standard looks like there's a microphone on the side as well another dual microphone on top 3.5 millimeter headset jack that is non-recessed so any headphones that you've got will work even your hello kitty headphones that i know you guys use the power button is going to reside as we just discovered on the right hand side of the device power and lock and right above that is right below that rather is HDMI out under a door unfortunately that is going to be a separate cable so if you want to hook this guy up to the TV you can do so the back of it is hard plastic it's not soft, soft touch you can see it's got a bit of a reflective look to it and it is a with Google device a little bit of a hump in the back you can see right towards uh, the bottom right there when it's sitting on a flat surface it's got a little bit of a rock to it, but it does feel nice in the hand. So let's do a real quick size comparison. Here is another 4.3 inch device. This is the Inspire 4G for AT&T, uh, similar to the Desire HD or the Evo. It's a 4.3 inch phone. You can see the difference uh, from a size comparison, just for thickness. Uh, let's bring in an iPhone 4 in case you are on Verizon and you're considering uh, perhaps this phone, the Droid Charge or the iPhone 4, you can get a size comparison. Certainly the size of the Droid Charge is going to be larger because it's got a much larger screen. Um, but that extra size doesn't come with much extra thickness. Uh, this is a very, very thin phone. And I've got to say it feels really nice in the hand. Uh, I think that if I had to pick a phone on the Verizon network to pick up right now, uh, this would probably be the one that I would choose. Go ahead and unlock it. Uh, pricing is going to vary depending on what outlet you choose, whether or not you go to Verizon or maybe Amazon's having a deal that day, or your local retailer's having a deal, you just don't know. Um, I will say though, that the screen here looks really pretty, although I'm sure that's not gonna translate uh, onto camera. Let's go ahead and jump in, see if I can find a gallery and open up an image for you. This phone was just booted up for the first time. Let's find gallery. I know you guys are probably gonna see it. It's right there, it's right there. But sometimes I crack into the pressure and I don't see these things when I'm looking. So let's see what we got. Voice search, navigation. You take a look at all the applications that are going to come on here. Uh, if you like TouchWiz or don't like TouchWiz, one of the great things about Android is that you can totally customize your device uh, to make it look however you choose. So it looks like we've got the stock Android gallery application here. Uh, it is loading and this is going to be expandable. So if you want more storage, you can put up to a 30 gigabyte card in there. Looks like there's nothing stored in here, unfortunately. So there's a camera app. Uh, and speaking of that, there we go. You can see what that will look like. You can see my boxes hit the home button. Um, micro SD card slot is going to live in the back here so I can get the top off. <laughs> I can see the jokes already there. Um, you go ahead and slide your fingernail, if you have any, uh, all the way around. And presumably that will get the back of this off. Let's see. In theory, in theory it'll do it. I'll keep this in the, in the video. So you guys can make fail jokes. There we go. All right, so 4G SIM card, kind of still strange to see a SIM card um, on Verizon devices. You do not have to take out the battery though to get the uh, expansion card slot, which is quite nice. It looks like it's going to come with, how big a card in here? Very nice, uh, 32 gig card. So you're gonna have that choice of uh, purchasing option. So you're gonna have a lot of storage here. I love the fact that you can swap cards if you need and get a ton of space. And there is our 1600 milliamp hour battery. Still very strange to see a SIM card as I mentioned, uh, but I love the fact that it gives some tasty, tasty 4G action. If you guys are in an area where you have Verizon 4G, go into a Verizon store and try it. It is incredibly fast. Uh, I was using it over the weekend in Southern California, not this one, I was using uh, the Novatel hotspot and I was getting 12 megabits down and four up, which is really fast and uh, a lot faster than most home connections. 
So until a network gets saturated and presumably those speeds go down a little bit, uh, you're gonna get lightning fast speeds. This has been a very long unboxing video. I felt like we got a chance to talk and get to know each other a little bit better. <laughs> um, this is the Droid Charge for Verizon Wireless. Uh, presumably it's going to be available uh, very, very soon. So check at verizonwireless.com to get your Droid Charge on. Uh, I'm John Rettinger from Techno Buffalo. Check out the website for all your tech news. Leave me questions down below. If you want to leave me a joke down below or tell me you're having a good day because it makes me have a good day when I know you're having a good day. Uh, I'll see you guys in the next video. Bye-bye.